Hello learners, in this lecture we'll see how to calculate the uh, cutting length for the bottom curtailment bar. So you can observe one thing here, there's a one bar here, right? You can see a kind of a bar which is given here, which has gone only up to this distance. And they have given that you need to provide a 16 diameter three bar here. And you can see that the length from the outer face of the column to this outer of the bar, it is 775 mm. And here to the outer face, it is again provided 775 mm. So this bar is called as bottom curtailment bar, right? Since it is curtailed, curtail means you are stopping the bar. So that is why it is called as bottom curtailment bar. Now with this understanding, we'll see one of the uh, side drawing and then we'll try to see that, we'll try to understand that. Now you can observe the same image here. Uh, you can see a kind of a bar which has gone in the bottom. Yeah, so you can see a kind of a bar, right? There's a bar coming somewhere like this. Yeah, it has stopped here. And behind that you have another bar. There are two number of such bars, right? And whatever we saw in the drawing, it's the same thing. It has been curtailed here. The bar has been stopped here and the bar has been stopped here. So now with this understanding, I'll try to draw the outer face. See, this is the outer face of the column. I have a column here. Similarly, I have a column here. So this is my outer face of the column. Now from column outer face to the column outer face, they're given the distance in the drawing. So what is that distance given in the drawing? So it is mentioned that outer to outer of the column is 4625. So I'm going to do that. I'll write it here 4625. It's 4625. And what is the offset given from this curtailment to this length? It is 775 mm, right? It is 775. And also from here to here, it is 775. So now 775. Yeah, verify that. Yeah, it's 775. Now it's easy for us to find this cutting length. What we need to do, whatever is the outer to outer span, that is 4625 minus 775 on the left side, minus 775 on the right side. I'm getting 2775. We'll try to verify that. Uh, 4625. Okay, it is 4625. Yeah, 4625. Yeah, I'm getting uh, 3075. So this 3075 is what I'm getting. You know? That is my curtailment length from here to here. From here to here. This length, what I'm getting is 3075. So manually, I've done it. We'll try to verify this through Excel sheet now. So going to the Excel now. So I've done. So in the Excel sheet, this is how the Excel sheet is all about. This is the shape of that bar. So the moment you get the drawing, whatever is in the bottom left, no, this is on the left side. This is on the right side. It is 775. On the right side also, it is 775. Try to input it here. 0 0.775 and 0 0.775. The moment you enter it, the Excel is going to calculate and you're, you're going to get the answer here that is the cutting length of one bar is equal to 3.075 so before that we need to do one thing whatever is the outer to outer distance that is 4625 no that we need to input here see uh, because since all these things are one single sheet that is why initially once you do that is why i put it here 4.625 the moment you enter it here you are going to get the complete thing since we are seeing it in parts every time you have to go to the top and verify that so i've written it here 4.625 so 4.625 minus it's going to do on its own. I given a formula here minus this minus this. So it's going to give me 3.075. Now coming to the diameter of the bar. What is the diameter I need to use? 16 diameter bar of how many numbers? Three numbers. So I'll input three here and 16 is by default. It's going to take and then come into the total cutting length. Do it manually 3.075 for one bar. If you have three such bars, what is going to happen? 3.075 into 3 comes out to be 9.225. Now, since we are making use of 16 diameter bar, I'm inputting one here and making all other bar as zero. The moment I input one here, the Excel is going to do the calculation. Now try to do it 9.225 into so 16 diameter weight is 1.58. You're getting 14.576 kg per kg is the total weight of the steel that is required here. So this is how the curtailment bar has to be understood. And this is how we try to find the cutting length of the bar, right? I hope uh, this is understood up to here. Uh, we'll see you back in the uh, next lecture. Thank you.